Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my match review after the Tottenham Hotspur 4 West Ham one game at the glorious White Hart Lane tonight. Guys, it's an incredibly cold night here, but it really doesn't matter because that, for me, was the best performance in terms of 90 minutes, first whistle to last, that I have seen Tottenham give possibly in my lifetime. I know we conceded a goal right at the end, but I'm not even going to think about it. It's not even a negative. It's one lack of concentration from Carl Walker, who'd already scored a brilliant goal. I have to say, just man to man, 1-11, to the team were outstanding today. West Ham never had a kick. Like, yes, I was still nervous at 3-0 because I'm a Spurs fan. I'm used to the old Spurs who get in situations like that and then let it slide. But this is something completely different. This is a young, hungry team, full of desire, full of dynamism, who just don't let it go. The pressing was unbelievable. Deli Ali, who was playing in a more advanced role today, he never let their keeper or any of their back four have any time on the ball whatsoever. So every time they had it, he was right up in their grill and then they were actually having to chase it long, uh, whack it long. And then uh, Alderweireld and Vertonghen and Dyer were winning every first ball and we were starting again. And just the amount that we were replenishing the ball and starting again, probing, probing, probing. From the first minute, like the first 20 minutes, it was a bit like a chess match. Uh, as predicted as a lot of these games can be as teams are trying to suss each other out. And we were just probing them. They had only 30% of possession in that first 20 minutes. And then we got the goal. And then it was just destruction after that. It could genuinely, I know, and, you know, loads of cliches in football all the time and people exaggerating. But it could and maybe should have been 8 or 9-1 today. Like, honestly, it could have been 8 or 9. Remember we did Wigan 9 that year? If we'd have been a bit more ruthless, it would have been. And I think Son, who had a great game for me, picking up wonderful positions, taking up lovely space, uh, finding lovely spaces. If he'd been a bit more match fit, I think he probably would have scored a couple. Kane obviously had that chance one on one that he, uh, he fluffed a little bit. I think he almost had a bit too much time to think about it and he couldn't take it on his right foot because the defender was coming from that side. So he snatched at it, it was, uh, snatched at it with his left. Um, and just, you know, chance after chance kept on coming. And four, you know, it's, how rare is it where you can say, God, pretty unhappy with four actually. We probably should have had six minimum. Um, but absolutely delighted with the performance today man's to man it felt a little bit to me i don't know maybe this is an overreaction or I'm, I'm being a bit stupid i don't know but it felt to me like they put in a performance maybe for hugo you know hugo had a terrible week he was in the stade de france when the bombs went off outside he's the captain of france you know it's been a terrible week for him and i felt like just the amount of energy and passion and desire they showed today might well have just been like captain this is for you you know we don't want to make you have to work hard today so we're just going to put it all in and boy did they so Hugo didn't really have a save to make he couldn't have uh, couldn't have saved the goal Carl Walker like I said brilliant finish shame about the lack of concentration for the goal but I don't care about that his players come on leaps and bounds since they brought Kieran Trippier in. I think it's really given him a kick up the arse Jan and Toby centre-backs and Danny Rose honestly nine out of ten every game at the moment for those three. They're playing unbelievably well. Eric Dyer again, such a fantastic player. Uh, Deli Alley, shame he'll be suspended now for the Chelsea game, but again, a tireless, tireless runner. But for me, the best player on that part today was Moussa Dembele. He has become something else. I know Fulham fans talk about how brilliant he was at Fulham, but I can't imagine he was as good as he is at the moment. You can't get him off the ball. He was beating players for fun, actually passing forward. That's the main difference with him now. I think he's, he's being a lot more direct with his running, but also playing balls between the lines, which he never used to do. It was a lot more sideways. Ericsson was Ericsson, good. Seven, eight out of 10 easily. Uh, uh, Hume and Son, like I mentioned, played well. And Harry Kane, two goals. What can you do? He never hides, does he? He missed a chance. He didn't hide. Took his next chance. Took another chance. Could have had a hat-trick. Unlucky. And Ryan Mason came on. I thought he did well. Guys, what more can I say? It was an unbelievable performance, like I've already said. Just a joy to behold. we got Carabag away next. Let's go there. Split the squad up. Play some youth players a little bit, or the younger players, the players who aren't getting a game. Just try and get a result out there. And then Chelsea next weekend. Let's just go for them. Run tirelessly, work with that energy, and I think Chelsea will struggle because they haven't got the legs. They've got players who are old. If we can keep it tight at the back, I really think we can do them. We can turn them over, maybe 2 or 3-1. Maybe 2 or 3-0, who even knows? Guys, anyway, let us know what you think of my uh, review in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, at TV. Come on, you Spurs.